Hey guys, uh, welcome to Tactical Brush. Uh, in this episode, we're going to cover setting up our user interface in Photoshop for digital painting. Um, and we want to keep things kind of minimal and efficient so we can work faster and you know not have too much clutter slowing us down. Um, so uh, let's get started. Uh, let's open up Photoshop. And uh, you'll notice here, this is uh, what Photoshop looks like in uh, its default state. Um, the user interface is on the Essentials workspace. Up here you have all your, all your workspaces um, that Photoshop comes with. Um, the design one has your character palette for uh, typography and stuff like that. And here's your painting one. Um, so you hit this and you can hit New Workspace. Let's just make a new workspace now. Um, let's call this Digital Painting. All right, and let's save that so we can uh, work on it and make changes and not be afraid of like you know messing up um, our our previous default workspaces. Keep in mind now if you hit Reset Digital Painting, it'll bring it back to default. Um, okay, here we go. Now looking at this, um, it's pretty cluttered. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here that I don't really use all the time. So well, let's get rid of some of the stuff right here. Um, let's let's pull this out. Let's get rid of these swatches. And I want to keep my navigator there because uh, it's it's pretty useful as a as a reference point when you're looking at um, you know your file. You want to see the, it in its entirety. You can check if composition is still going good and everything. You can just check if you know everything's working in in a smaller scale. And if it looks good. On a small scale, it's going to look good, big. You know, sometimes you're all zoomed in, and you're not going to get the bigger picture. And you want to know the bigger picture. Let's keep the so we we want to keep the navigator. Um, we can close the brush presets because you can access them up here. Uh, you know, some people might want to keep the channels. You can lose that for now. Lose the paths for now. Um, you can do some of these. The brush palette you're going to, you're going to want to keep. Now, I like to have the brush palette open. Um, for making changes to your brushes on the fly, you know, you can adjust, you know, your brushes on the go, you know, which you're going to do pretty often. Close this. Your history palette, I like having this open. You can go back and make changes. Um, and I like to keep it between my layers and my navigator. And I like to close my bridge. Oops. Hold on. Let's bring out my layers again. I don't like having bridge open. Okay, and we'll dock this and then we'll extend this all the way down. Alright then. So this is pretty much how I work usually. You know, I have this setup um, as I'm working. And then let's talk about like uh, navigating this file once you have it open. Like let's say you start a new file and um, Okay, so here's my new document. It's 8.5 by 11. doesn't matter for now. I'm just showing you uh, how you want to navigate your file, right? Now, if you hit F, it's going to maximize your file, right? And you can hit space to move it around, right? You can zoom in all the way, and then you can hit space. And you can see your navigator, on your navigator, that, you know, you were moving, you're panning around your document right here. You can actually even pan with your uh, navigator as well. Um, <clears throat> Alright, you hit it again and it removes, you hit F again, it removes your, t your tool palettes. Alright, let's go back. Um, that's space and here's another thing you'll notice. Uh, when you when you draw on a tablet or draw anywhere, you'll notice that your arm has a natural curve. Um, you know, your arm always curves like this naturally. I mean, it's it's not natural for you to draw a straight line. You know, you're, the way your bones are in your arm, you kind of draw a natural curved line. You'll notice that it's really actually hard to draw a line like this because you know you're, that's not how your bones rotate naturally. So sometimes. Um, you know, you're going to want to hit R, and this will allow you to rotate your canvas so you can achieve, like, you know, the curves that are, uh, you know, that are, like, difficult for you to, you know, usually achieve while on a tablet that's static. And then you hit R, and you hold Shift, it'll pop it, 
lock it back into uh, its original position. <clears throat> um, and you know, for my posture when I'm working, I like to have my tablet directly in front of me. Uh, directly in front of me and I have my keyboard right behind it and I have my left hand on my keyboard at all times to give uh, you know keyboard commands and I notice when I teach people how to you know do digital painting at first they like to put both their hands on the tablet you know and do their painting and stuff but you know it's, it's actually really inefficient um, you know you're just going to be much faster if you're you know, issuing all these commands and cycling through your tools with your keyboard, with your left hand, and your right hand if you're left-handed. Um, and uh, another thing to keep in mind is that, uh, you know, using a tablet, there's a pretty big disconnect from what you see on the screen and what you're doing on your tablet. So my recommendation is to, you know, just lose your mouse. I mean, just like, don't use it. Unplug it. You know, and for the next couple of days, just do everything with your stylus. Like, you know, check your emails, use your stylus. You know, browse the internet, use your stylus. You know, you're going to get, you're going to build up that uh, that coordination between what you see and what you're doing a lot faster this way. And you'll notice that, you know, you're, it's easier to get, you know, like the exact brush marks that you want. Um, let's see. Oh, and here's another great tip I picked up from uh, Make make photoshop faster.com now you know i think it's important just to do this anyways because it actually does work and i was pretty shocked um, okay go to photoshop go to preferences and go to uh, performance and you're going to want to set the cache level to one under your history state All right? and uh... Also go to file handling and image previews. Make sure this is on never save. All right, and that'll make your Photoshop a lot faster. I learned that pit, uh, quick tip from uh, makephotoshopfaster.com. Go check it out. The link is in the description. And uh, the next, check out my previous video, which is on uh, setting up your Wacom tablet. And the next video is going to be on brushes, specifically the round brush. And we're going to talk about, you know, um, you know, you can pretty much achieve anything you want with the round brush. So we're going to go into all the details and all the stuff you can do with the round brush, hard round and soft round brush. And we're going to start getting into some painting. All right. Thanks a lot. And see you next time.